The purchasing practices at Skytook Schools amounts to squandering state money, according to a critical audit of the school district by state auditor and inspector Steve Burridge. When you consider the uh, enormously wasteful spending which occurred, especially in the light of tremendous budget shortfalls facing our state and our schools, there are countless legitimate places where this half a million dollars could have been spent, including the classroom. The investigative audit revealed the school used a middleman to purchase janitorial supplies and security systems the school could have purchased directly itself. The school paid prices that were marked up ranging from 100 percent to more than 450 percent over typical retail prices. Burge says by using this process, the school was paying $60 for an $11 trash can. The district paid $540 for three mop heads valued at $1350. He says it's ultimately the school board's responsibility to find these kinds of irregularities. And when they're elected, especially on the school board, that they sign an oath of office. And, you know, they have a responsibility to safeguard the assets of the entity that they're in a position of governance. We tried to contact school board members for comment on the audit. Board member Tim Allen returned my call but had no comment at the time. At this point, we, don't, we have no comments. Uh, we will be issuing a press release later. In a fact statement from the Sky Took School District Board of Education and Superintendent of Schools, it stated that after the board has had an opportunity to review the auditor's report, it will refer to legal counsel and determine whether any further board or administration action is appropriate. The state auditor says this incident should send out a message to all school board members in all districts. Good people serve on school boards and they have good intentions, but they need to ask questions. You know, they need to ask questions. They need to familiarize themselves, you know, with the financial uh, goings on at the school. And one thing I say is, you know, the superintendent works for the school board. The school board does not work for the superintendent. The audit has been turned over to the Attorney General's Office for review and possible action. There are five other schools currently being investigated by the State Auditor's Office. In Skytook, I'm Angela Rosecrans, The Oklahoma News Report.